Hi, I am Nikki Clements and I just wanted to do a quick video testing the strength of my light fixture PVC flanges. Uh, if you don't know what these are, you can check out my previous video. But basically, you can take a cheap sub $2 plastic lamp holder from Home Depot and with a little bit of modification, you can make a very elegant PVC flange for mounting PVC to flat surfaces. And I just want to see how strong it is. Uh, I have the flange secured into the ceiling with four screws and they're going into the trusses. So they're going into two by four, it's not just the drywall. And then the PVC pipe is attached to the flange with a very good friction fit, but also secured in with a screw. And then the PVC pipe also is secured with screws. Now, I actually think it would be stronger if I glued it, but I'm impatient. So the only thing to do is uh, just put some weight on this. Now I've been eating donuts the past few days, so I am uh, a fair bit heavier than I normally am. So I'm definitely going to be putting a decent amount of weight onto this, certainly more than you would ever really need it to be able to handle. My guess is it's gonna break right at the top, right where there's just a small plastic lip holding onto the screw head, but uh, let's find out. Actually, that did not break where I thought it would. It broke, it broke here. I was almost hanging on it fully with about 200 pounds of weight before it broke. Um, it was definitely giving its all. So I wonder what two screws would do. And I also wonder what if I just tried gluing the whole thing in there, having this whole thing supporting the PVC pipe fitting would do. Um, that's a really telling result. I was really hoping I could have just hung from it from a bit, but still, I'm surprised it broke here and not here. So this connection is a lot stronger than I thought. So, um, and I always knew that as soon as I put the screw in there, it made this plastic a lot weaker because this, this stuff is quite brittle. If, you, if you're not careful putting that screw in, you'll crack it when you do that. So that's interesting. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that might be worth another test. Uh, seeing if we can if we can push this a bit further, but uh, actually I'm really pleased with how much weight that handled before it finally gave way. So that is actually pretty cool. But uh, my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for dangling. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. You know what might be a good way to secure it if you need this kind of strength out of it would be to come down from the center here, maybe just putting a dowel or something solid into here and screwing it from the back. And that way you're pulling down versus pulling on the, the thinner edges of this plastic here. I don't know.